Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be uh, quickly speaking about how you manage the defect uh, gingival uh, facial aspect of the patient when you take out a tube with severe recession. In this particular case, patient have severe recession here. If you just simply just numb the patient and remove the tube and don't do anything, you will have a big uh, defect of the gum there. Now, in this case, patient cannot afford implant, uh, implant or immediate bone graft, uh, but he will do it within the month from now. So what I will do is I will try to manage the gum uh, in the way that by the end of the uh, next month appointment or a few weeks from now, the gum will not be severely re received before we have to fix harder to uh, fix the uh, defect area. First thing I have to do is release the, using the blade and just release the, the uh, tube uh, uh, so that I can gently take out the tube uh, in a way that I don't tear off more of the gum. So uh, after I release with the uh, 15 uh, number 12 blade and um, I just now take out the tube um, and uh, Next step I would do is uh, really uh, remove all the granulation tissue, the infection tissue uh, and around the bone area and make sure that I can cure it well and irrigate the gum well. It will take some time because um, as I was working on it, I saw so much uh, granulation tissue and it's attached to the uh, alveolar bone. So uh, you need time to do this. and. Uh, if um, if it's a conventional procedure, you take out a tube and you just let the patient go home. That's that's one way to do. But in, to um, to really really help the patient to minimize the recession area, you can put some collagen membrane uh, after you uh, cure this area well. Remove all the um, granulation tissue, irrigate the gum really well. Um, then you can design uh, um, the uh, uh, flap technique where you um, can release the adjacent tube on both sides and close that um, defect area and um, put some collagen membrane in there. Hopefully you're gonna see that uh, in about a few weeks later before the patient ready for the bone graft, you don't have a big defect to fix, okay? So uh, follow up me with me this case and you will see um, next time I will post the follow up picture before and after uh, and uh, how I manage the uh, gum today and as well as how I manage the bone next uh, few weeks from now, patient come back. Uh, the benefit of doing not doing the bone grab immediately today is, is uh, also because there uh, was so much infection area there. So uh, by cleaning all the uh, soft tissue and uh, place the collagen membrane right now, it's uh, substantially it's helped the um, uh, reduce the infection of the socket area and repair for the future bone graft. It's not a bad idea. We can do both bone graft on the same day, but it's more predictable this way that you um, just simply allow the uh, infection area to, um, re uh, to reduce uh, and minimize potential of uh, chronic infection later on. If you put the bone graft and you might have the problem. So here I am, I make the uh, um, uh, vertical incision on the adjacent tube of tube number five and uh, uh, release them and that's way when I suture up I can close that uh, uh, defect spade there. There's many other designs taken away. This is just my way and um, I'm hoping that um, I can share the result next uh, uh, few weeks from now so uh, you can see the defect. Um, thank you for uh, watching i'm hoping that uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time subscribe to my channel and continue um, follow up my case have a good day guys take care bye bye